Okay, so I've been super busy at the computer and I love creating new things and adding new things to the lessons all the time for you. So what I've done is I've created special sheets that have the rhythms that we've learned so far. So I'm going to show you as we move into the video, you'll have a special sheet that has the four taps on it. And everything that I show you in the next few videos where you have a sheet attached that has notes or has rhythms, remember rhythm is the pattern that the notes are placed in, okay? That's all rhythm means. So all of that that I'm going to show you is also attached to your lessons so that you can download it to your computer and print it out and have your own sheets with your special rhythms and notes. So that's exciting today. In this video, not only are we looking at our sheets, but we're also looking to do the first rhythm for our three little pigs, which is the four taps. And we've already done the four taps in our first two songs. So we already know what that means. Okay, so into our lesson, off we go. Okay, today I'm very excited because we are going to be starting the song on page 10. And I felt super duper inspired this morning. I wanted to create something wonderful that you can have at home. And so I've made these beautiful sheets that are now attached to your lessons with the rhythms that we've already learnt. So here we have the tap, 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 tap that we've already learnt in our first march and in the balloon man. Tap, 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 tap. So now you can print out your own to have on your piano and you can play with that whenever you like. Now we have the tap, 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 tap. Now what other rhythms did we learn? Do you remember from the first march and the balloon man there were only two rhythms one had four taps and the other one had now remember rhythm is just the pattern of the notes okay it's the pattern that we put these notes into the other rhythm was the tap tap and a long note tap tap and a long note okay so today in Three Little Pigs that is on page 10, if you look carefully at the different rhythms or the different pattern of notes, how they've placed the notes, you will see that we don't have this tap, tap, long note. We've already used it in the two songs that we've played before. We do have the tap, 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 tap. Okay, so we are just quickly going to go over to the piano and do a little bit more tapping to practice our four taps to get ready for three little pigs. Okay, what I love about these lessons is that we get to practice our finger numbers and we get to practice the animals, the keys that we've already learnt. So we're going to start by finding our... Who was that? One, two, three... Who remembers what that key is called? Did you guess bumblebee? Then you guessed correctly. So we're going to start with the bumblebees and I'm going to start with finger number two. Finger number two should be the pointing finger, what you would use to point with. Finger number two on my bumblebee. So once you find the one, two, three, bumblebee, we're going to stay there for a little bit. And we want to do tap, 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 tap. Now how many taps were there? Do you remember? Four taps, so let's count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. The other key that we learnt with the bumblebee was one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Who remembers? Who's been practicing? Okay. That is the angry ant. You're correct. So we're going to stay on the angry ants. And we're still with finger number two. It's not too fancy today. And we're going to keep working on our taps. Ready? Tap, 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 tap. How many taps are we supposed to be counting? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. Okay, now let's go over to our cats, dogs and elephants. Let's do finger number three. 
the one in the middle on our cats. And let's do four taps there. Ready? One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. And let's do pinky on the dogs. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on the four taps because we've already done them heaps in the first two songs, okay? We want to get onto the new rhythms for today, the new patterns of notes. So let's do one more with the four taps. And I'll let you choose whatever key you like this time. But we're going to use our thumbs this time. So I'm going to do elephant because it's the only one we haven't done yet. Ready? Tap, 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 tap. Remember to count them. One, two, three, four. So you know you've got the right amount. One more. One, two, three, four. And that's our four taps. Okay, so how did you go? Was it fun? I love doing four taps. They're just so much fun. So sometimes just do the tap, 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 tap. And sometimes count the one, two, three, four. Because I already know what tap, 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 tap feels like. But if you're new to music, you will probably keep tapping and forget to stop, right? So <laughs> you'll end up with a hundred taps and you've forgotten to stop. And we only want how many taps? Only four taps. So make sure you count them. One, two, three, four, and stop. Okay? Tap, 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 and stop. Okay? After each group. So you know that that's the rhythm. Tap, 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 and stop. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. We're going to have a look at the next rhythm.